hello I'm Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to use the brush to create this beautiful bokeh effect. We are starting this tutorial by learning how to make a new brush preset which is really easy and also really important in this tutorial. So create a new layer, press U and choose the ellipse tool and just draw a circle you can hold shift to make it round. All right, it's important to fill it with black. It's really important for the brush. Go to edit and then check define brush preset and give it a name. Let's call it circle. All right, now you can delete this layer. And if you right click and choose the brush that you created, as you can see, it's here. And if you draw, it will draw something like that. Don't forget to take the brush tool for that or press B. So now the magic begins when you will change the brush properties. So click on this little icon from the top and now go to brush tip shape. And if you move this slider to the right, as you can see, it will add some distance between the circles. All right, let's undo. Now the next one, shape dynamics. You have to increase the size jitter and if you draw on the screen, you can see it adds uh, circles of different sizes. Now let's go on with scattering. You need some random distance also on the um, vertical. And if you play with the count, it would add more circles to the screen. All right. And now another important thing to check is transfer. The transfer if you move the opacity all the way to 100 and the flow jitter all the way to 100, it will add circles that are opaque between the other circles that are not opaque. And last is color dynamics. Color dynamics is really important because if you set this one on top to 100%, it will use both colors that are here. You see, I have two colors this brown and this orange and it will play around with both of those colors all right i think we are set now let's change our background to black you can do this by pressing ctrl or command and i and it will inverse the color and now let's create a new layer all right and you can start by taking the brush and paint all over the screen all right, now let's right click and convert this one to a smart object. I really use this smart object option because any time that you want to come back and change the settings of a filter, you can do that. But if it's not a smart object layer, you cannot really reverse any filter. So go to filter and choose from blur Gaussian blur here. You can play with the radius and choose, let's say, depending on your image size, something really blurry, something like 12%. You can click OK. Now, if you create a new layer, let's set the flow to something really small, like 8%. And if you start to paint, you can see our bokeh effect is really, really nice. If you want to make this effect more realistic, you can add a um, gradient, go and change some properties. All right, let's choose some colors that you are using also in this tutorial. So I'm going to choose a darker color and also something like an orange, but not that light. Let's say like this one, click OK. And now choose radial and reverse and hit OK. As you can see, we created a really nice bokeh effect that looks realistic. As I said before, if you want to change the settings of the Gaussian blur, you can double click on this Gaussian blur effect and you can play around to change the radius of that Gaussian blur effect. Hit OK. Because we already learned how to create a new brush preset, we are going to use that with the same settings and we are going to create another bokeh effect really, really quickly. So go to adjustment layers, choose gradient, and we are going to use this time those colors. 
and we are going to choose the style radial reverse and the scale should be to 100% hit ok create a new layer and now take the brush both opacity and flow should be 100% and start to paint on the screen all right now let's right click and convert it to a smart object go to filter choose blur gaussian blur and choose 20 percent radius all right now create a new layer and we are going to play with the brush size so first just draw some big circles decrease the size and keep drawing and then when you're satisfied with the result just release now we want to add some more effects go and create a new layer choose the gradient or press the letter g and from the properties just choose noise and then 100 percent restrict colors and add transparency should be checked draw a diagonal line and choose the blending mode to screen to this layer go to filter blur gaussian blur and the same 20 percent now desaturate this layer press ctrl command shift and u and this layer now it's great now add an inverted mask hold alt and press on the mask and now we are going to take a soft brush and we are going to show on the screen the parts that we want from the rays to be shown on the screen but first decrease the flow to 10 percent let's move this layer underneath our circles rares and just start to paint on the mask with the white color selected now let's change this color choose solid color and choose a yellow color and hold alt or option and clip this one to your race anytime you want you can change the color to something more light this is the second example and i hope you'll use this in your new designs so today we've learned how to create a new brush preset and also how to create a really nice and realistic bokeh effect so if you love this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time